Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Good. Perfect. The atomic charges are cutting through completely in line with the survey. Okay, Chang. Fire the remaining two. Schedule. Great. Congratulations, Mr. Hausman. Thanks, boys. There'll be a good bonus for this. Okay. Let's go take a look. a pretty good job. Rockfall! Rockfall! Reverse back! Reverse back! Was. Well, 
Let's finish up here and get back to base. Visual check, tree and rock formation, range eight. Repeat, tree and rock formation, range eight. Roger, fire two and three. There they are. They've made good time. They need to. Where to make the completion date? Welcome back, Eddie. Good going. Thanks, Lester. Bob in his office? Yep. Eddie, you did wonders. I never thought you'd get through the mountain this side of the monsoons. Well, with any luck, we're gonna make that date. Let's drink to that. We gotta make it. It's our first big contract. If we fall down on this one, we've had it. Well, Eddie, you played your part. Now I'll play mine. Providing I can get that road finished before the rains, we'll be okay. Yeah, I, I guess it's over to you now. You just go off and enjoy your vacation. And don't worry. Oh, by the way, uh, where are you going to? Anywhere special? I uh, just uh, looking up an old friend. <laughs> Here it is, Din Din. Did the best I could. Why, Mrs. Tracy, it's beautiful. Now we must think of a special occasion for you to wear it. Or for a special person. Now, Mrs. Tracy, just who did you have in mind? Well, I know someone who's got you very much in mind. Young Alan's a mighty handsome boy. Aircraft approaching the island. It's going. You're wrong, Gordon. 
Sounds like it's coming into land. It is coming into land. Operation cover-up. it is, I hope they don't stay long. Yeah, could be kind of awkward if we get an emergency call. A uh, gentleman to see you, Mr. Tracy. Uh, Mr. Eddie Hausman. Eddie? Eddie Hausman. Tintin got to, Gordon. Oh, don't tell me you haven't heard, Virgil. Oh, this Prince Charming flew in and is really sweeping her off her feet. No. Yeah. Was he as handsome as I am, Gordon? Nearly, Virgil. Nearly. Knock it off, eh, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> What's got into everybody? Seems the only thing to talk about is Eddie and Tintin. They're just friends. That's all. Friends. <laughs> Good to be with you again, Tintin. It's been a long time. company's going to make a go of it. I'm pleased for you, Eddie. Really, I am. Thanks, Tintin. Gus, we'll go broke if we don't finish that road on time. Well, things have gone great up to now. Say, I wish you could see our outfit. Really is great. Oh, Lester, according to the weather reports, we're just gonna make it. The rains are doing about two days. Yeah? Now take a look at this. The instruments are picking up earth tremors in the mountains. What? How bad are they? Hard to tell. Signals are faint, but that doesn't mean a thing. Let's go take a look for ourselves. <laughs>
I've seen enough. It's bad. Monsoon will bring that whole range down into the cutting we've made. We'll never finish the road on time now. <laughs> Tintin, you look beautiful. You've done your hair a different way. Yes. Do you like it, Father? Well, he... he seems a nice young man. You're going out again? Yes. He's waiting for me downstairs. news from the road camp, Tintin. And he couldn't even wait to say goodbye. Well, I guess his company means a great deal to him, Tintin. He'll write to you. Well, that finishes Eddie as far as Tintin is concerned. Lucky we didn't have a call while he was here, wasn't it, Father? Yes. Yes, it was, Virgil. I wonder what sort of trouble they've uh, got on that road. <laughs> can't give up now, Bob. We can't. Eddie, it's too late. The rains have started. And what do we do? Just sit here, let a landslide ruin all our work to date? That's what we do. And then in the spring? In the spring? That means we'll lose our contract. We'll just have to try and get an extension, that's all. Extension? Why, the only reason we got the contract was because we gave an early completion date. If we don't make the date we said we would, this company's nothing. You're out, I'm out, everything we plan for, work for, goes up in smoke. There's no other way, Eddie. That's where you're wrong. There's one way. Let me take a gang of men up there. With carefully placed Newtomic chargers, I could blast the peak and make it fall away from the road instead of into it. You couldn't do it. Try me. Eddie, the seismograph shows that peak could collapse at any second. And even a small slide could cause the charge to explode while you were working on them. If you weren't blown to bits, you'd be buried alive. I know my job. And I know mine. And since I'm the senior partner, I say we apply for the extension. It'll break us. Maybe. But you'll be alive. Look, I'm not going to argue. The decision is made. <laughs> Hi, Tintin. Mind if I join you? I, I, I thought I'd like to do a little water skiing today. Would you like to join me? No, thank you, Adam. I, I don't feel like it. Pretty mean of that Eddie walking out like that. <laughs> what did I say? Grandma, did you see that? What did I say? Just all the wrong things, Alan, as usual. Gee, Grandma, guess I'm no good at making fancy speeches. What am I going to do? Things were swell before that Eddie came along. Grandma, what am I going to do? Leave things to me, Alan. Just leave things to me. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Here goes. Signal. Oh. oh, hello, Lester. Yeah, yeah, I woke me too. I'll see you in the control room. tremors in the area of the cutting. Guess I was right. Glad I didn't let Eddie go. Oh, by the way, where is he? Haven't seen him, Mr. Gray. Come to think of it, it's not like him to sleep through an alarm call. If he's gone up... Find him! Whatever you do, find him! <laughs> Keep searching. What is it, Taylor? The explosive tractor. It's missing. And three cases of charges. You fool, Eddie. Come on, we can still stop him. Can you hear me? No word for half an hour. You'd better try again. Eddie! 
Eddie, this is Bob. Call in. Call in. No good. I guess we'll have to... Hi, Bob. This is Eddie. I've planted the charges. Eddie! Then get out of there! That peak's cracking up! There'll be a landslide any minute! And I guess I'd better fire the charges now. You'll be too close! Get away from there! You kill yourself! The company isn't worth it! Eddie! Eddie, can you hear me? He cut off! He cut off! Yeah, I can hear you. You did it! You're okay! Eddie, the cutting's in no danger now. We can see from here. Bob, listen. The blast took my tractor right to the edge. I can't get out. If I move to the door... The thing will overbalance. Okay, keep calm, Eddie. We're on our way. There's worse to come. I've still got a case of Newtomic charges on board. If this goes over the edge, I'm going to be blown sky high. Calling International Rescue. International Rescue. Come in, please. International Rescue. International Rescue. Come in, please. This is International Rescue. We're receiving your call. Go ahead, please. I got them. They're answering. International Rescue. We need your help. Stretch my legs. That's all. You just stay uncomfortable. I thought you were going over that time. Yeah. So did I. Hey, Lester, you still there? What is it, Eddie? What's going on out there? What's happening? Don't worry. Everything's in hand. Mr. Gray's trying to contact International Rescue. <laughs> That's right. You get the picture? Then you can't reach the tractor because of the state of the ground. Right. The explosions cut the ground up so bad, we just didn't chance our weight on it. Okay, Mr. Gray, we're on our way. I told him we'd be there, Father. I hope I did right. Of course you did right, son. What's that supposed to mean, anyway? I left the name of the guy who was going to be rescued to last. Why? Who is it? Eddie Hausman. Eddie Hausman? Hey, Father, he knows us. That's right, Scott. Eddie knows us. That means we can't help? Is that what you're saying, Dad? No, Alan. But if we go through with this job, we're going to break our cover. And we all know how essential it is that this outfit remains secret. What do we do? Turn this call down? No, John, we don't turn down any call. We've done everything we could to hide our identity, but not at the risk of wasting a life. Carry on, Scott. Yes, sir.
International rescue from Thunderbird 1. Changing to horizontal flight. before international rescue get here. Okay, Virgil, that's the brief. Use the magnetic grabs. Alan can help you on this one. Any questions? No, sir. No, sir. Away you go. Good luck. Come in, please. International Rescue. Come in, please. Ah, it's no good. I can't reach them. Weather making things difficult. If they don't get here soon, they're gonna have a wasted trip. Just glad Eddie can't see those rocks. Oh dear. Alan would insist on going on the rescue, even though he was very sick. Alan ill? Afraid so. Just hope he can bear the pain, that's all. And Mr. Tracy let him go. Couldn't stop him. I wouldn't mention this to anyone. We're all worried enough as it is. Of course, I understand, Mrs. Tracy. Well, I'll be getting along. We've all got to eat, emergency or no. Poor Alan. Scott should be there any time now. This is Thunderbird 1 to rescue area. Thunderbird 1 to rescue area. Come in, Thunderbird 1. Come in. They're here. They're here. Hear 
those engines, Eddie. International rescue have arrived. Yeah, I heard. But I'm beginning to think this one will be beyond even that. Listen, rescue area. It'll be a few more minutes before Thunderbird 2 gets here. I'm going to try and do something about those boulders. Okay, check. I don't know what you can do. We were going to try and build a barrier. We haven't got the necessary gear. Well, we have. So here it goes. from Thunderbird 1. I'm glad to see you fellas. Now here's the situation, Virgil. I've laid down a steel screen to stop any boulders from knocking the tractor over the edge. Now lower your crabs and pick it up. F.A.B. Scott. Okay, Alan. Okay, Scott. I'm coming in now. I'll guide you in. Hey, pull away, Virgil. Your vertical jets are tipping it over. What are we going to do, Scott? We'll have to go in closer if we're going to make contact with the grabs. Now, we've got to think of a way of stabilizing that tractor while the grabs are attached. Scott, couldn't they fix a line that would hold it steady? No, Virgil, I'm sure that's not possible. The ground near the tractor is so badly cracked that even a small increase in weight could tip that balance. Hey, wait. I've got an idea. Now, if this works, Virgil, come straight in and grab him. Stand by, Virgil. FAB. Okay, Virgil, come in now. I'll take the strain. FAB, coming in now. Okay, Scott. We've got it. It's all yours.
heavy for the grabs. We're not gonna hold it. Virgil, hold her steady. Eddie's jumping for it. Okay, Virgil, he's clear. Now get the tractor to level ground so we can get to the atomic charges. FAB, Scott. She's going! You saved the road. Did I? You ask me, International Rescue did all the saving around here. I'm sure looking forward to thanking those guys. Doesn't look as though you're gonna get a chance. Well, how'd you like that? They pulled off a rescue without even landing. And with Eddie not getting inside of them, our secret is safe. I'm so glad they're all right. Can I speak to Alan, please, Mr. Tracy? Sure, Tendon. Go right ahead. Alan? Can you hear me? Are you all right? All right? Yeah. Yeah, I am now. Oh, I've been so worried about you. You, you shouldn't have taken a chance like that. Gee, shouldn't I? Look, Tintin. What say we have a long talk about it when I get back, okay? I'll be waiting, Alan. Alan? 